if you or I wore a t-shirt with an obscene word on it to work, our bosses would probably send us home. But a member of the San Diego Narcotics Task Force did just that at a marijuana raid. 10 News was careful not to show the word on our news last night, but here is the shirt. Uh, we're going to have it coming up in just a second, and of course we have blacked out the F word. Team 10 investigator Allison Ash wanted to know why a government employee got away with it. Well, we got the runaround trying to find out who was wearing the T-shirt with the F word on it. We contacted the sheriff's office. They told us to call the narcotics task force and the DEA. They sent us right back here. I don't want to say it in TV, but um, it's, it uh, was the four letter F word and it was extremely offensive. We took the liberty of blacking out the word. You can see it was on the back of a t-shirt, which we now know was worn by an undercover member of San Diego's Narcotics Task Force. He wore it on a raid of Marcus Boyd's Imperial Beach Insurance Company, which had a marijuana grow that Boyd claims is legal operating upstairs. It showed that their, their uh, distaste for medical marijuana goes far beyond any uh, laws and it's become rogue. The legality of medical marijuana isn't why Team 10 pursued this story. It's all about the t-shirt. Boyd claims he asked the officer to pose with him for a picture. He laughed and said no, uh, that I could not. After forwarding his picture to the DEA, we got this response. DEA does not condone the shirt and we find it inappropriate. The matter has been referred to the Sheriff's Department. And from Sheriff Bill Gore, this shirt is not approved or condoned by the Sheriff's Department. Its message is vulgar and not representative of who we are and the values we uphold. Appropriate administrative action will be taken. And of course, we'll keep checking to find out what, if any, disciplinary action is taken against the deputy who wore that shirt to work. In Kearney Mesa, Allison Ash, 10 News.